In today's video, we are gonna be talking about food, glorious food. I don't know where that came from. Guys, I am so excited because today we're basically covering my favorite hobby, which is eating. Oh my gosh. The onions and I have had a heart to heart and the onions won. Oh, look at that. To be honest, it's been my favorite hobby for as long as I remember. And that's why I want to take you on this journey with me. Oh, by the way, we're talking specifically about intuitive eating. Want to come on the journey? Let's eat. Real talk. So the reason why I've decided to do this vlog is I saw something on Instagram the other day. It was a quote and I'm not quoting it because I can't remember it exactly, but it was something like, don't feel guilt over the food you eat. I read it and I was like, hmm. And then I looked underneath and there were thousands upon thousands of comments from girls basically saying, thank you for this. I really needed this. I feel guilt all the time. We need to kind of address this. And I feel I have a responsibility to talk about this because I can't remember the last time I ever felt guilt for eating something. All I've ever felt is like, pure satisfaction and enjoyment. I wanna try and share that with you girls. I wanna try and show you my life, show you the way I live my life, the way I eat, the way I love food, and the fact that you can eat what you want and still live a really healthy and happy lifestyle, mentally and physically, and get results. So that's what this is all about today. Alex and I were literally sat on the sofa last night downing our chickpea burgers while we watched, what was it? Sort, Angelina Jolie. Anyway, that's besides the point, but epic film. And he was like, it's kind of unfair that you say to the girls, this is how you eat, you're an intuitive eater, but you haven't necessarily explained what that means to you and how you eat throughout the day. So I wanna show you a little bit more of that and then I'm hoping that it can either help you get started, perhaps you can give it a go, or if it doesn't work for your body, that's absolutely fine. But the key to this is listening to your body. And in my case, I want to intuitively eat. So I'm going to get lunch now, because I'm hungry. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is a work of art right there. Teddy, come on. Hello, Fluffy. You are so like your mummy. You saw the food. And he was like, I'm in there. How jealous are you on a scale of one to 10 right now? Solid 10. Do you want some? Oh, yeah. So good. The chutney just. Oh my. I know, right? No, not you. <laughs> Look at him. So up until a few years ago, I didn't actually know what intuitive eating was. I thought it might be like one of them new phases or one of them new buzzwords. News buzzwords, you know what I mean? And then I looked it up and I was like, I'm an intuitive eater. For, well, I guess it's different to each person, but for me, it's honoring what your body wants. As a physio, I strongly believe that your body is the most intelligent machine on the planet. If your body is telling you that it needs food, you need to honor that because ultimately your body is a machine and it needs fuel. So for me, it's not just about listening to my body, it's the pure enjoyment of eating. So when I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. And when I'm no longer hungry, I stop. But what I found is I eat little and often throughout the day and then that keeps my energy levels nice and high. I also don't believe in restriction guys and I don't have cheat days. It's something I get asked a lot. How often do you have cheat days? What do you have on your cheat days? For me, that would be a nightmare. The thought of like, being restricted on something and being told I can't do it, I will then want that even more. Do I eat healthy all the time? Hell no. But I would say 80% of the time I do, and that's because I love the feeling of eating healthy foods. I love the way it makes me feel. I love the energy that it gives me. Even my skin, even my hair, I feel like it gives me a glow and that helps with confidence as well. But that doesn't mean I don't have my ice cream, my sweets, my chocolate. To be honest, more sweets than ice cream. I don't believe you have to have major restrictions in place to live a healthy and happy lifestyle and achieve your goals. Speaking of goals, the garden is nearly done. Are we able to like, we're nearly done with the garden, guys. I'm literally so happy. My yoga mat is out because I was doing stretches this morning. So that's gonna be a rug, probably, and a coffee table. I've just finished up about three hours worth of filming, and that's for the app, by the way. And I'm going live again in- Two hours. Two hours, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm prepping dinner. Just because I feel like with intuitive eating and the way that I like to eat, I eat a lot and little, well, probably not that little actually, but I eat often. <laughs> One of my biggest fears is not having food in the house. My sister is exactly the same. Like we have to have a full fridge. Full fridge, that is so hard to say. We have to have a, a 
full fridge. Otherwise it stresses me. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. I don't have much time. So I either try and cook meals that are really quick. What is wrong with me? I really need to eat. This happens all the time. By the way, one of the signs and signals that you are hungry is that you start like hitting yourself in the face and just being so clumsy. Alex will vouch for this. Like I cut myself so often and it's normally on tins and it's when I'm like really hungry and I come into Alex and I'm like, I've got another cut. Anyway. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, prepping. Making sure that I have food in the fridge. And that's like not only just for snacks, but for meals as well. So what I tend to do is cook like I have a family of 10. So I know that that will last a couple of days. So the chickpea burgers that I had earlier were last night's dinner. And now I'm making tonight's dinner, which is gonna be a bean tuna <laughs> anti-inflammatory. That was what I was looking for. A bean tuna anti-inflammatory pasta dish so i'm going to be putting the pasta on in a sec i'm just going to chop while i talk do you know what i would love to learn actually how to i think it's called julienne when you can cut really fast you know on the shows and they're like yeah i can't do that what to eat my priority to be honest is just that the food needs to be delicious like when i have my injury which some of you already know about a couple of years ago i like royally effed up my knee in every way possible Okay. No, my knee. What? My knee. Fuck. Okay. And at that time, I like went crazy on researching anti-inflammatory healing foods because I was on crutches for months. Like it was bad, guys. What it showed me was that an anti-inflammatory diet is pretty much a Mediterranean diet, which I was already eating, which was great, but it just meant that I then researched further. I introduced those foods as much as possible. I played around in the kitchen and tried to make the food like delicious and fun. When I speak to some of my friends about this, they're like, you enjoy being in the kitchen? What is wrong with you? The good news is guys, you don't have to worry about like playing around in the kitchen. Cause basically that sounded really weird, but experimenting. Cause I do all of that for you. Um, and all of it will be going on the app, which is great. So there'll be tons of new recipes there and it's also in my cookbook. The name of the game is to make it fast, make it easy, easy, minimal ingredients and honestly, more than anything delicious. A lot of people say to me, oh, have you tried this? Like it's a new superfood or it's really good for you, etc., etc." Honestly, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna have it. I'm not gonna force myself to have it. What is it called? Green tea, matcha. Matcha is a prime example. Molly, if you are watching this, one of my best friends is like, I will make you fall in love with matcha. I just really don't like it. And we went to Japan together and she was like, this is the home of matcha. You're gonna fall in love with it. You'll have some of the best matcha in the world. And I tried it again and I was like, Sorry, I'm sticking to peppermint. All right, guys, I've got to put the pasta on and then I'm going live in a couple of hours. So I'll see you up in the studio and you'll see a little bit behind the scenes, which is super cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Behind the scenes before tonight's live, Teddy is very ready, as am I. <laughs> guys, I'm tired. I am really feeling it today. It's like coming up to 8.30, we're just about to go live. And obviously this is later. We've done a couple of weeks now with it being really late because it works for you guys. So I'm trying to find a way for it to work for me. But I'm gonna draw this to a close now. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Everyone's waiting. We're going live literally in four minutes time. So it might be some of you guys. Just one thing to end on. I know intuitive eating might not be that natural, that easy for a lot of people. And I just wanna say it takes time listening to your body, listening to your body's cues might not feel that natural, but it does get easier. So if you're wanting to implement intuitive eating into your daily routine, which I strongly recommend, don't be hard on yourself. Take it easy on yourself. Know that this is a journey to health and happiness. There is no quick fix whatsoever. And as I said before, guys, everyone is completely different. This works for me. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work for you, but give it a shot. Also, just while I have you guys here, one million giveaway ah! oh my gosh I'm gonna be talking about it in the live right now but the giveaway is officially open we are giving away three thousand pounds worth of fitness and health goodies that's four thousand dollars so make sure you comment down below with where you are from in the world and how long you have been subscribed to my channel and there are going to be 10 lucky winners where you're from in the world how long you've been subscribed to my channel that's literally all you've got to put there the winner will be announced oh just check out the description box Mwah! bye guys lunch prep game strong oh yeah
We've had the music pumping. It's been an emotional day. Check out those eyes. <laughs> oh, there's the onions. Thought you really loved me. Guess I was wrong. Thought you'd never.